90-day fiancé star Natalie Mordopseva is in a bad state financially. Find out how she's making money in 2024 and if Josh Weinstein is still helping. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. 90 day. The single life star Natalie Mordov Seva's heartbreaking financial condition was recently revealed by a fan after Josh Weinstein was accused of being her sugar daddy. Natalie came to America as a 36 year old to marry Mike Youngquist and make it big in Hollywood. Mike crushed Natalie's hopes by making her live in small town Sequin, Washington. Natalie dumped Mike and headed to Florida, where she met Josh at a casting event and started dating him. Natalie moved to California in 2023, but her life has only gotten worse instead of her becoming a Hollywood celebrity. During the 90 day, the single life tell all, Natalie cried about being alone in Los Angeles. She spoke about nobody giving her work while she kept knocking on different doors. Natalie revealed she'd been sending her applications everywhere and had visited several agents, despite which she was unsuccessful in getting work opportunities. Natalie was able to achieve neither of the big American dreams she saw when she married Mike. Josh didn't want to commit to Natalie. He didn't want a baby with Natalie and didn't entertain her requests to date her exclusively. Natalie studied psychology and journalism in college but chose to become a model. She walked the ramp for a beauty pageant called Miss City and placed in the top five. Natalie said she couldn't secure the top spot just because she was more focused on her studies when at university. However, Natalie's career took a wild turn when she became a professional model in Ukraine. Over the past few years, Natalie has shared several throwback photos from her modeling assignments. She has modeled for fashion brands and also starred in a music video in 2018 for Eden's song called Float. Natalie also worked as an actress in Kiff. She starred in several made-for-TV movies. Natalie's career in these low-budget movies was promising. Natalie seemed to stick to the crime and thriller genres. Clips from these movies that Natalie starred in shared by 187 anonymous gossip reveal she was passionate about her work. Natalie wanted to explore acting in America after marrying Mike and becoming a Hollywood star. However, she seemed to face a language barrier even while auditioning for Josh's producer friend. Natalie started living a lavish life in Florida after she left Mike. She lived with her friend Juliana for a while, but later moved to Street Petersburg, where she filmed for 90 Day, the single life season two. Julia Trubkina had asked Natalie how she supported herself in a new city. Natalie had admitted that she was still mooching off Mike. Natalie wasn't allowed to legally work in the U.S. It was Mike who replied saying Natalie had his bank card to this day. Josh was introduced as the CEO of a modeling agency on 90 Day, The Single Life. Natalie had met Josh at a modeling event his company had hosted in Florida. Josh is the CEO and founder of Preview Models. The website says that the production company allows aspiring models to walk the runway in front of the top modeling agencies from Los Angeles. The company represents models from all around the world. They also organized the Preview Models fashion show in Hollywood. Josh is also the co-founder and CEO of Create Luck, which organizes luxury giveaways. Natalie moved from Florida to California and expected Josh to get her a new home. She asked him to be her guarantor on the lease of her new apartment, but Josh refused, saying he didn't want joint anything with her. However, Josh eventually gave in and paid for Natalie's apartment, where she began living with her mom. Josh also gave Natalie a car and was financially helping her while she looked for a job. Josh had helped Natalie score an admin job interview, which she failed miserably. Natalie kept the house and car despite splitting up with him. 
During the tell-all, an unseen clip showed Josh's friends and co-workers, revealing that their company's statements from the account team had multiple transfers directly to Natalie. They spoke about an incident where Natalie had called Josh ten times in a row because she wanted Josh to find her a ride somewhere. Josh insisted he was doing it to help Natalie try and achieve her goals. The men identified Natalie as a charity project for Josh and not a relationship. Natalie insisted she had come to L.A. for Josh and not to get insulted by Josh and his friends. Natalie realized what Josh's friends thought of her and asked Josh to explain what the relationship meant to him. Josh said Natalie came to L.A. for work when she claimed he had invited her there. Josh had his reservations before she came to L.A. and had asked her not to come there. Josh's friends thought his breakup with Natalie was good from a business perspective. When asked why Josh was giving Natalie money when he didn't consider her to be his girlfriend, he claimed it was because he liked her a lot. Chantel Everett noted that it looked like Natalie wanted a genuine relationship with Josh, but he was giving sugar daddy vibes. Josh claimed he told Natalie beforehand that he wasn't her sugar daddy and was just helping her out. Natalie, in turn, claimed that she knew nothing about Josh. How can I pick up him as a sugar daddy? She asked. Veronica Rodriguez tried explaining to Natalie how Josh was sleeping with Natalie and giving her money while keeping her away from his house and kids. Natalie said she and Josh both knew that Josh was not her sugar daddy. Natalie thought her cast members were implying that she was sleeping with Josh for money. It appears Josh may have stopped giving Natalie money to avoid getting labeled her sugar daddy. According to TV Shows Ace, a Reddit user had a big revelation to make about Natalie. They claimed to have seen Natalie on February 14, 2024. Natalie was in a really bad spot when they encountered her. As per the viewer, Natalie was really pressed for money. Natalie apparently told the fan that Josh was not able to help her because he was taking care of his son following his accident. Josh's son, Jet, was in a car accident and lost his right leg. The fan had allegedly met Natalie at a pawn shop. Natalie had been trying to pawn off some of her belongings for money. This included a MacBook Josh had given her and seemingly a ring given by Mike Youngquist. Natalie seems to have told the fan that it was her day off, which meant Natalie had finally found a job to make ends meet. It could be that Natalie is regretting her decision to come to America entirely. The 90 Day The single life star has been unable to fulfill any of her big dreams.